What's going on, everyone? It's Antoine here from Election Nation. And you know I've been covering the debate and the election and everything that's been going on so far in the 2024 presidential race. Well, there's been a new development, and it was just yesterday. I'm sure you guys have all heard by now, but if you haven't, Joe Biden has dropped out of the race, and now the presumptive nominee is Kamala Harris. But that's wrong, because Bernie can still win. And here's how, and here's how. In 49 easy steps, I have a plan for how Bernie Bernard Sanders can be the next president of the United States of America. Now, it's simple. It's so simple, I've written it all down here. 49 simple steps. And if he follows these steps, and he does everything that I say... The next president is going to be Bernie Sanders for eight years and maybe even 12 years. All right, let's get let's get some into some of these. All right, number one, and this is the easy one. All right, Bernie announces that he's running for president against Kamala Harris. People think that Kamala Harris is going to be the president, but they're wrong! All right, number two, at the convention, uh, Bernie secures the nomination. How? How does he do it? Uh, he's, he's sort of the dark horse. What he does is he gets a, a, a VP from all 50 states. He gets one VP from every single state. He has 50 VPs when he runs. He has 50 VPs. The second thing he does is he begins to campaign. He campaigns in Utah because he needs the Mormon vote, and he's going to start building a religious coalition. All right, there's a number two now that he's got the Mormon vote. All right, so he makes a move towards the black vote. Now, that's really easy because he has a VP from Georgia. Named Donald Glover, and he, and he has a VP from and he has a VP from North Dakota, and his name is Wiz Khalifa. And the two of them together, they're gonna start moving in on the black vote because when Bernie's moving in on the black vote, Bernie's gonna move to Florida, and when he's in Florida, that's gonna cut the vote between him and Trump because Trump's from Florida too. So that's gonna make people in Florida not know who they're gonna vote for, and Bernie's gonna have to move, move to, to Orlando. And the reason that he moves to Orlando is so he can begin to fortify the positions in Orlando because he and his army are gonna be, begin to build an independent city state in Orlando. Where they're gonna live and where they're gonna start working on the, the next. In step 18, we talked about the public decapitation of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now that's going to lose Bernie the essential Christian nationalist endorsement, but it's not going to matter because his work improving the diplomatic relations between him and the Westboro Baptist Church that we talked about in step 14 is going to be there to get him that Christian nationalist vote. Now we're on to step 38, all right? So per step 29, right, the return of the grain-based barter system economy is going to allow for Trump's attack on the left flank to, to during the uh, October siege that we talked about on step 40 to, to this is the 46th step. It, the mud wrestling competition ends in a death match, all right? So the seven people die, including Bernie's VP, Jeb Bush, okay? And off of this, Florida and Arizona and Nebraska, they swing to Bernie because of that. And 48, all right, so one more. This is where the baking soda volcano from step 22 that we talked about comes back. It explodes. The judges award the top prize, the top, the top prize to the VP, and that's Dwayne Johnson. And Hawaii goes blue. And then the egg, the Bernie's aide, laid back in step 10 hatches and the result is a landslide victory of all 50 states plus dc for bernie and that's it now that's bernie sanders for president and his son is bernard sanders so little bernard sanders jr is going to be the president right after that and then after that and president next is going to be whoever's son that is and he's going to make a clone of himself right there